What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up inventory orgs, your item master, etc., in under a minute using quick setup. Let's get after it. Okay, first let's go take a look at the various steps you would have to take if you didn't use the quick setup. So we're gonna go over to organization structures and you see we have to do shifts, we have to do patterns, we have to do schedules, organizations, and item organizations, okay? So a lot of work and it's all summed up if we go over to manufacturing, supply chain, go to facilities, do the quick setup, okay? And right here, magic. I'm gonna create a calendar name and I'm gonna set it, um, uh, let's just set it for 23 and leave that, those years as it is. So there's the start time, end time. There's your weekend days, all right? Hit next. Here's the units of measure automatically set up. And now we'll choose the business unit. So let me just search for that real quick. Use that one. All right. Next up, we're going to add a master item organization. So I'm gonna call it this. And then I'll give it a code, something more in line with the name. And then the last step is to start creating your inventory organizations. Now I'm only gonna create one in this example, but you could create as many as you like, all right here, okay? So a name, a code, a location, just use Redwood City, all right? We're only using it for purchasing, so it's all good. So hit submit and it'll run a process. It takes a little bit of time and then it comes back with this error and that is because this vision instance is, already has these units of measure set up. So they're already there. So now, if you see all that craziness about HR, just go ahead and refresh it. Let's go back to facilities and let's start taking a look at the item organization. And there it is. Search for SU. And there's your item organization. Right there. Take a look at the uh, parameters. And you can change all this stuff if you need to, all right? but it's all set up. Now let's go back out and then let's go look at the inventory organization that we created, all done through the quick setup. Okay, there's the inventory org. So let's look at its parameters. And again, same game. You can change all that stuff just as you need it. All right, all changeable. Let's get out of that and we'll go back See, again, there's that HR stuff, just refresh. So there you have your shifts. All this stuff gets created all on the fly. Now, this video is probably five or six minutes, but to set up inventories orgs using this feature is about under a minute, folks, under a minute. So it's important to work smart. So inventory orgs using the facilities quick setup is the way to go because we wanna work in a manner that's efficient and effective. And this is definitely one of those examples in terms of setup. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.